Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of my 30 Days to Die series. It is the morning of day 22. Sun's coming up here in a second, and I've been making forged iron and stuff all night. Oh, we can turn this off now. And as you can see, I'm completely loaded down here to go to the traders today. We've got two traders to go to, and I finally marked them on the map. I knew where they were, but for people who don't know, um, there's two traders out there. Uh, we're right here. There's one right here. That's the, the second trader we found, but I marked him as trader one because it's the closest one. And then we got the sec other trader over here. So we're going to go to this guy first. Yeah, there's been zombies like running into the uh, stuff all night here. This shut off part way through the night. I'm just trying to let the heat map drop a little bit. Don't want too many screamers. Uh, in the workbench, we have got iron spike traps going. I forgot you don't make them out of the forge. You just make them with four... Uh, uh, forged iron you can make them in your inventory or you can make them in the workbench So I'm just putting them in the workbench to have them go So we've got lots of that going and you can see I'm moving real slow here because we are completely overloaded. I Heard a screamer come through last night Seems to be pretty quiet here right now. Let's just swap this around here So we can get out of here so there's a couple things I want to do today. I got a surprise for the second thing. The first thing is we want to go to the traders. Trying to find those damn beakers. We have so many skill points we have to spend too, so that's the second thing we have to do. Uh, but I'm going to save that till later. We don't need them right now. I just want to get this done and out of the way with. There's a potential, depending on if we find beakers in the traders, um, then I think we'll just come back and maybe work on the base a little bit. But if we don't find beakers, I might go off to the second uh, town that we found past the first, uh, I guess it's marked Trader 2 on the map, but past the traders there. Um, just to see if we can find any popping pills or something. I, I can't remember that many episodes back. It's been a couple of weeks since I recorded those episodes. So I don't know um, if there was a popping pills or a hospital or something over there. So we might go over there and check that out. And of course, Trader, this guy won't be open yet. So you know what? Uh, oh man, I don't want to. We gotta wait, which means we got zombies to kill. Got the range on them. Might as well use it. We're gonna kill a few of these guys here. Take well, uh, we can't really take down wood because we don't have any place to put it. We can't do anything. I guess we could put stuff in the bike. Okay, see if we can get Mo. Oh, that's not Mo. Who is that? I have no idea what this guy's name is. Roger? No, not it's not Roger. There we go. That guy's gone. Man, okay, we got like 55 in-game minutes to wait. I'd love to be able to smash some of these boulders, but... Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll do that. Let's go up over here. I am running full speed, by the way. Ah, uh, we're thirsty. We're thirsty. Uh, yeah. I restocked. Oh, now we're, we're going to drop the jar. Wait. I didn't drop the jar? Where'd it go? Oh, we got one slot free. Right, from the bicycle. Okay. That would make sense. Okay, let's access the storage and let's put... If we're just going to be harvesting resources, let's put the stuff that... Uh, we're probably going to need those. Frames can go in there. This glass jar can go in there. And that's probably good enough. So let's take our bike up to the front of the traders. We'll hit a few boulders. I want to see if we can get some more iron. We are burning through our iron like crazy now. Forged steel and stuff is just crazy amounts of iron. So if we can knock it while well, we're almost ready for the time, but we'll knock a few of these boulders out while we're waiting. Yeah, so these boulders are like 11 hits now for me with this thing. Now you got to remember too, if you're playing 70 Days to Die, right now I've got my uh, block damage set at 150% in the opening skills, uh, or the opening um, settings, only because I don't want to be spending like forever waiting for to do block damage, you know? If you're recording a series, it's okay to leave it, I mean, you can record it at, or leave it at 
whatever when you're playing normally, like 100%. But if you're recording a series, do you really want to be spending all of your time damaging blocks? So, you know, it's set at 150%, just so that I can get through this a little faster. We can get into some interesting stuff. Anyway, trader's almost open. We're going to finish this block up, and then we're going to kill her. Oh, and him. Ah, she lost her leg. There we go. I'm learning to lead these guys a little more now. I thought I heard a dog. Like a pack of dogs. Thank you, Joel. I hear something over here. Maybe it's her. All right, let's go into traders. No, I'm sure I'm hearing it over here. I turned the ambient sound up a little bit. Uh, just so you guys can hear it. If you're having a hard time hearing like zombies and stuff in the background, let me know and I'll turn it up even more. I increased it by like 15% or something like that. Okay. I was hearing a dog or something. Yep, there you are. Wow, we actually got him right through there. Sorry, Joel. Just trying to solve your dog problem here. That dog sounded very sad. But he did want to kill me, so... Not much I can do about that. We're going to go harvest him in a second. I think we can get him through the bars here. So I learned a few in things interesting between the last episode and this one. About finding resources. Yeah, I got my axe. I'm just going to threaten this guy. What do you got? You got any beakers for me, dude? Let's buy some stuff off me first, though. Okay, I'm selling all my old armor. Don't need it anymore. We could scrap it, but what's the point? You don't want to buy leg armor? Come on, it's awesome. All right, selling my old wrenches. I brought too many of them. But no big deal. So apparently this guy won't buy... Yeah, he'll only have up to three things of the same in his inventory. So we're selling our old marksman rifles, sell the old shotguns, whatever we can get for these. I was going to fix them before I came. Yeah, he's got enough of those. Flashlights, garden hoe, iron, old iron shovel, pistol, pistol, nope. Hunting rifles? You buy those, right? You bet. Compound bows? You want those. Old military gloves? Hunting knife? Yeah, this is a compound bow. You want that one? No, you don't. Sell to the other trader. Making some good coin here. Sell the old cash. Sell the sil silver nugget. Yeah, we went up a level. We got so many points to spend, guys. I'm telling you. You're going to be like, holy crap, how do you have so many points? And I'll be like, holy crap, I have no idea. What the hell is Azalea? Is that like just like a plant? Or? I don't know what the hell that is. I should just buy it just so that I have it. I have no, <laughs> no idea what it is. Uh, okay, let's have a look here. Um, blood bags. Oil buckets. We could buy the oil. Animal fat. Um, lucky goggles. We've got tons. Skull cap, bandana. Come on, where are the beakers? And brass faucets. But you don't have a beaker? Dude. Air filter landmines. Empty shopping cart. Well, it sounds cool. I think I'll pass on the empty shopping cart. Bullet, bullet tips, that would save us a heck of a lot. That's lead, though. It's the casings that are brass. Lead we can get relatively easy. Mattresses. This guy's got a lot of stuff, man. Bar stools. Serrated blade. This is the... Oh, that's for bleeding damage. Helmet helmet lights lockers. Munitions box. Man, when we're ready to trick out our place, it's going to look awesome. Yeah, and this is all the stuff we sold. 
Secret Stash. Any beakers? 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 We've got Wood Splitter already. Uh, two times scope. I think we can make one of these. I don't, we're not worried about that. So I think we're going to go buy. See all your stuff. Actually, let's see. Ammo weapons. Does it have? Yeah. We're going to buy these 20 bullet casings. Oh, geez. That's cheap as hell. I know it's not very. Oh, I should just buy the tips too. 320. We're gonna be short. Watch when we go to the. <laughs> we're gonna go to the trader and we're gonna be just short stuff. Okay, let's bring this down here. Uh, sure. We gotta grab the stuff out of the bike anyway, so we'll do this. And yeah, I think that's it for here. Back sometime. I will. Do you have your anything lootable again? No. No. All right, we were going to carve up that dog. Let's get our, uh, and our knife is in the god darn bike. Okay, we have it. Uh, where are you? Here we go. Let's just pick this up for now. Gonna run around back. Might pick up some more XP here for some from some guys back here. I often wondered, if you leave stuff cooking here, that was a rabbit, I thought there was something moving over there, it's a rabbit. If you leave stuff cooking here, would a, would a, would a screamer spawn here? Probably, I'm guessing. Just saw a video from Games for Kicks where he purposefully spawned in screamers so that he could get experience from killing zombies. I guess he was looking at getting his game, um, game stage up a little higher. Which r rules how many... Ooh, zombies you'll get on Horde Night. Um, I don't, personally, I don't really care how many zombies. Well, I'd, I'd like to have it a good fight, but he had, he had also had it set up so that it was um, um, like zombies all night long. Which I'm not really interested. I mean, realism-wise, you know, that's, chances of that happening would be like, no. But, you know... It is kind of interesting to be have zombies go all night long. Uh, sorry, girl. I can't stop to kill you, but uh, here you go. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well. Look. No, 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 no. He's fighting the zombie, though. Yeah, these guys, you just gotta kind of like, I don't want to say take your time, but not be um, intimidated right away. If you can get them at range, the wolves aren't so bad. They're close in on you, though. Same thing with the boars. You definitely want to have, um, whoa, that was a one shot? Really? Uh, you want to basically have like no weight on you so you can run away fast. That was fast. All right, uh, where's our guy, dude? Well, let's go run him over. Here we come, riding. We take his leg off or do we kill him? Oh, there he is. No, maybe he just didn't see us. What's up, guy? I'd love to stop and talk, but I don't have time. Going to the second trader over here. Oh, dear. Don't have to stop to... Don't have time to stop and kill you. You should consider yourself lucky. Considering what I did to that boar, it was a one-shot kill. More zambonis. I don't know if we're going to get any ferals during the day now. Okay, where is the trader now? Is that him on the map there? Probably. Let's have a look here. Just want to make sure we're going in the right direction. Yeah, that's him. He's a lot farther away than I thought he was. Let's not go through those trees. There could be zombies in there. I don't know how easy it is for them to hit somebody on a bike. But if we encounter a pack of dogs, that would be bad. 
so I was playing a game because um, I've been like, like I said I've been trying to perfect the, the first seven days of, of play so I was playing one match and I ended up in a snow biome like this and it was right on the edge of a desert biome so I thought okay well I'll build a house like right on the edge of the snow biome right and what I did is I went up a water tower and I built it under the water tower there's the trader um, so I built it under the water tower did I mark that on the wrong did I mark the wrong building I don't think I did Anyways, I went up under a water tower. Don't think we're going to get beakers here, so I am going to prep for moving on here. I'm going to have to kill that wolf when we come out. Anyway, so I built a, like I said, I built a base under the water tower, uh, which was kind of cool, by the way. Like It was like one of those ones with a uh, concrete base. And then I just built up with uh, flagstone first, made it, filled it in with stone, like uh, brick walls, and then <coughs> concrete Save after that. The dead. And then um, once I had that done, let's sell this guy our stuff here as we're going through. Uh, once I had that done, um, uh, I started, um, you know, building trees around me and things like that. So I had a half decent base started and I was out one night, just like not nighttime. It was still a daytime. I just kind of went out and I was like, okay, well, I'll see if we can uh, speakers. Too bad we can't actually talk to them because that would be cool. Um, yeah, so I went out and I thought I'll just harvest a bit of wood. And as I'm harvesting wood, I turn around and there's six, six of those zombie dogs right on top of me. And I'm like, what the hell? And I was like right beside the base, right? I'm like, what, what the hell? You know, buy all the mushrooms. Um, so yeah, I, I, uh, I think I, I don't think I killed any of them. I just made a sprint back to the house, got inside and climbed up and a bunch of them died in the spikes. And while I was inside healing up because I took a lot of damage from them, um, it got to a point where I was like, okay, so I'm, I'm healthy enough. I'll wait till the morning. And I didn't hear anything outside. I'm thinking, okay, well, the dogs are either dead or they're wandering off. So I went outside and um, I started looking around and yeah, we're not going to get what we want here. I started looking around. Night vision goggles. We don't really need it though. I should buy the ammo. Less things I have to... to uh, we have grave digger in our shovel already, don't we? We do. We need something for our pick. Um, bunker buster. Oh yeah, man. We'll buy that. So I went back outside and... Um, there, I saw one dog and I'm like, okay, cool. One, only one dog left. Let's just kill him. So I hit him with a bow... And I shoot him again, and then another dog comes out of nowhere. I'm like, oh, crap. So I started, back I started backing up, and I backed up into the spikes around the side of my building. I, was, I just misplaced where I was. And the friggin' dogs killed me a second time. <laughs> okay, so I come down, I grab my bag. But the guy, the, the, the second dog that came did die in the spike, so I was okay with that. So I came down, grabbed all my stuff. So that's two deaths, right? And I'm like, this is not going to happen again. So I went out, I started hitting, I finished up clearing up the, the stone, started hitting boulders, and I'll be damned if, a, if another pack of dogs doesn't show up. Like, I mean, like the next day, another pack of dogs shows up, but they were going in a different direction. So I was able to get away from them. So I jump on a house, up on the roof of a house in a nearby building. I was able to kill them from up there. But damn, man, if that second pack of dogs had jumped on me, I'd have been, <laughs> I'd have been freaking out. Okay, let's get this um, pickaxe Boys modified here. Nah, we're good, buddy. Thank you. I, I really appreciate this. It's it's really helpful. That fifteen percent is a quite a bit. We still have a we have some. St I keep wanting to call those sea bills. We <laughs> we still have a bunch of uh, coin left over. Sorry, I, I keep wanting to call them sea bills because I'm playing uh, BattleTech. If you haven't watched my BattleTech series, uh, that's where that sea bills comes from. Um, it's the currency in BattleTech. Every time I see the coin, I think sea bills now. So all right, let's go kill this wolf out here. Should be able to do it from a distance, I think. Ah, I can't see him. Let's not bother then. Load for bear. Let's go over to that town, which is pretty much just south of here. Should have brought the puffer coat. We should have brought the puffer coat. But I think we're okay, as long as it's not like snowing. I think we're okay. Well, maybe not. He says as he begins to freeze to death, there's a pig. Lots of animals out today. It's kind of nice. We need to get the hell out of here. I don't know if riding under... Uh, riding under trees does help a little bit, I think. Does it? Yeah, not really. Should have brought the puffer coat. 
I wish they could have backpacks that you could trade out. So, like, you know, if you're going to go into the winter biome, you just grab one backpack and it's got all your stuff in it. If you're going to go someplace else, you know, you grab another one and it's got all your stuff in it, you know. You got to get out of here fast. Look, we just ate and our stamina is dropping like crazy. I really hope I'm going the right way. I think I am. I think I recognize this now. That's still a long way to go. We're coming back to the desert. That's all I got to say. We're going to need to eat in a minute. Look at the stamina drop. Look at it. It's crazy. Okay, I'm going to push this. There's a bird. He's going to chase me. All right, there's the desert. Should be able to warm up real quick now. All right, there we go. Not that cold. Warming up. All right, here we go. Excellent. Now, I think the town is over this way. Let's just pause here for a second. Yep, there it is. Okay, let's ride down. We'll eat when we get there. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think there was like a pop in pills. I thought we saw something here. And full speed rundown. We get a launch. Oh, well, not quite a, not, not as quite as good as a, the nurse, but I'll take it. Flip over the handlebars. It's not bad. Is this the uh, hospital? Okay, let's see if we can get a better launch here. I missed you, sorry. No, ah, that was just a leg clip. Can't have it all. Yeah, I think this is a hospital. Was this the hospital? Did we see a hospital here? I, I, you know what? It's been a couple of weeks since um, we passed through this town for me, like in like li real life. So I don't know. I think that is a hospital, though. It looks like it. Either that or it's apartment building. Dishong Towers or something. Big bucks, no doggies. Not going in there. I don't know. That's a satellite dish up on top, I think. So I don't think this is a... Uh... Oh, there's an airdrop. It is. Pharmaceuticals. And there's a uh... shotgun messiah right here. Where did the airdrop go? We may have to spend the night here. Ah, uh, way the hell back over there. We might go get it on the way home. We're probably going to be spending the night here too, guys. Let's use this. Double bacon and eggs me, please. Because damn, I'm hungry. Alright, I should have made some more med kits for this, but we'll deal. Clear up the outside first, because... When we come running out of here screaming, we want to make sure we're not running into more guys and scream even louder. I should have made some more uh, arrows here. Can we do that? What are we missing? Wood. Let's grab a little bit of wood here before we go in. Why that does the... I gotta remember to just take my finger off. Does the double swing. Okay, how much can we get from this tree? Eh, not bad. That should give us more than enough for arrows. Don't need these. Uh, stone arrows. How many can we make? 48. Wonderful. Let's make them all. So we are definitely going to need them. Agashi, eh? Okay, let's drop some stuff in the bike here. We're going in loaded down, and I think what I'll do... Oops, not that way. Push, hold. Come on. Storage. You can go in there. Uh, we don't need the 45s. We don't need this. Let's put this. Chances are we're not going to encounter any of that stuff out here. So that's fine. 
Sure, I should probably put my wood frames down here and make a couple more. Um, all right. What the hell? You uh, come on, you're just replacing your buddy now. Oop. A little slower than I thought. We got a ton of skill points to spend. We're going to spend them at the end of the day. Actually, we got to go home. I got a surprise. So we're going to go in here, see what we can find immediately in this place. I got a surprise. I forgot all about that. And we'll come back here. Uh, are we going to find what we want in here, though? On the first floor? Most likely not. So maybe we look for a poppin' pills or something. Yeah, let's go. I don't want to... We might find something in here. Yeah, hooray. Totally need that. Okay, let's just have a look around here. A small pawn shop would be nice. Um, got a desert town coming up. We're equipped for deserts, so we're okay. Um, a little bit of snow in the middle of town. That is a house. Hmm. Paper mill. Do we need... No, we, we already got paper, didn't we? Did we pick up paper already? I, I can't even remember now. Wonder if we should just grab some more just in case. Just for shotgun ammo. I don't know how many shotgun rounds we're going to need for the Horde Knight. Because I think we're going to be going all 7.62 or 5.5 uh, 5.45 N. Yeah, why not? really all we need. 236, I don't think we'll be making more than that. Let's, but let's waste this guy. I was hoping to take his other arm off. Ah, well. We got free stones, so. Two hit wonder. Beautiful. Let's grab a bit more paper while we're here. Paper stacks and rolls of 250, so... two rolls okay not bad not bad at all all right I don't know if you got anything else two o'clock maybe we should just go get, get that airdrop I'm thinking that we have a better chance of finding um, we have a better chance of finding beakers in the airdrop than we do out here man I'm heating up here too really and I got my oh you know what it is I know what it is. Um, I've got armor on. And I took my boots and gloves off. So, um, yeah, I'm heating up faster than I normally would. Okay, let's pause here. Joe Bro's Builders, eh? This is definitely a town we need to come back to. We have to spend a couple of days here, I think. If we're going to do it. Right, spend a couple of days in this town. And then, um, like, we'll set up a little base here. Doesn't have to be big, like, just on the roof of a building or something. Or I saw, um, there's like, a, well, there's a water tower we can go up. It takes a little longer to build a base on the bottom of a water tower. Like, you don't build it right on top, you build it right underneath. I'll show you here. So, if you, uh, this is where I built my base. So, the one, uh, the one, uh, Thing I was talking about earlier. So we pause here for a second. We don't really have time to pause, but we're going to do it. Um, so you're going to kind of go up uh, once we check this bag. I'm going to have my looting goggles on. Um, so you go up to about where that second uh, little nubby is, and that's where your um, 
your frames will go and then you can go inside you can crouch down and get in between here and go inside makes it difficult for mobs or zombies or whatever like uh, birds to get in and then you can just put frames around on the inside here is zombie out here somewhere and you make your base up in there and then you build a ladder down the side and this is all concrete down here right so you just fill that in with flagstone up all the way around here these metal posts can all be upgraded with metal you can knock out all these cross beams and these little nubbies to get you more metal um, knock out this bit right here but leave that centerpiece and if you want you can put a ladder down on the inside and right in the base of this down in here is all uh, dirt so you can just dig down there to make your mine that's what I did it was kind of cool like you just have your base like right there and then um, you can eventually just take down the ladder on the outside um, and have a tunnel that kind of goes out from underneath your base so you just have the ladder goes down on the inside right goes down underground to a tunnel tunnel takes you outside your base right then you can just surround the base completely in spikes it's got a very low profile um, and you can easily fit uh, double blocks uh, on the inside so in between the posts there you just put a second set of uh, concrete blocks and uh, it's then your walls are double thick you fill it outside with either barbed wires or spikes the top you can have little overhangs that look down so you can just step out and shoot straight down and there's not a lot of room inside I think you can have I think I had like three floors as long as you only have them two blocks high you can have like three floors on the inside or four floors including the including where the ground is um, which isn't bad right so you can have your top floor which is all your storage second floor down you can put your um, your forge whatever now I didn't ever I didn't get to the part where I had a workbench and stuff that would be more difficult to make work because you know there's really not a lot of um, uh, leeway to uh, put a put a lot of big items like that in but if you put those underground it's fine just make sure your forge anything that's generating a heat map make sure you have that above ground all right where is the airdrop is this way really I hear you man we are sorely underdressed for today I tried to make sure I had everything. I was like, yeah, man, where the hell? Oh, it's right here somewhere. There you are. I thought you landed in the desert. That's pretty good. All right, what do we got? Food. Hooray for that. All this way just for a bunch of food. Let's eat the peas. We're going to need some stamina on the way back. Chicken soup, let's use that. Yeah, a bit of tuna because sure that way we're not overweight when we're when we're riding here let's get the shotgun oh now we're not feeling well hooray for that okay let's make it back because i got a surprise uh we need to do one thing though before we go back if we got time i think we'll be able to find what we need on the way back shouldn't be a problem we got to raid a car here Oh, hello. Goodbye. Do, 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 do. Hopefully we don't get really sick. Well, we got honey. And we got some aspirin and stuff. That might help, maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. We're going the wrong way. I just want to try and stay in this biome as long as we can. If you see a car, let me know. I, I, I need to get some stuff off a car. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, he's winding up. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Nope. Didn't get what we needed out of that guy. Oops. Ah, I'm feeling sick to my stomach. Ah, great. Uh, I don't think this is going to matter. But let's use that. Don't think that's going to matter. I think we needed antibiotics. Well, we don't have them. Okay, there's a car. There's lots of cars. But we need a relatively full-size car. Alright, let's pause here. While I'm barfing, 
Just gonna throw up while I take this car apart. Oh, check it out first. Check, 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 check it out. Yeah, ammo. I don't know. It's hard to get what I'm looking for. I think we gotta get it in the second pass through here. Okay, so we're not getting it off the first pass. We don't need, it's not the gas we need. Uh, there's a rare item that I need. It's not an engine. I've got three engines back at home. Ooh. Hot. Nope. I don't think we're going to get it. Ah, my health is going down now. Man. If we died from food poisoning, wouldn't that be like the worst thing in the world? I'm sure there's a worse way to go, but... Come on, give me what I want. Nope. Nope. Uh, let's try these two. We were getting more parts off this the third round of this, so... Let's just see if this gives us what we want. Getting lots of plastic, too. Mechanical parts, electrical parts. Nope. Didn't have what we needed at the trader either. I got one at home, but I don't want to use the damn thing. It's a battery. We're looking for a battery. Nope. Still got food poisoning, eh? I don't think this is going to matter. Well, yeah, it does. Bringing our health back up. Okay, shotgun out. Let's keep going. Now, do I want to die from cold or do I want to die from heat? I'm going to do what I normally do. This is my, uh, my, uh, Civ 3 trick. So in Civ 3, you couldn't, um, travel through the borders of the enemy unless you had open borders with them. So what I used to do, if I wanted to travel past a couple of civilizations, is I used to um, ride the border between them and just step back and forth. So one guy would say, hey, get out. And I'd be like, oh, okay, I'll get out. Then you get out, and you, but you go into the neighbor's border. And then when you're in the neighbor's border, he's like, hey, you need to get out. And you're like, oh, oh yeah, sorry, man, I, I apologize. Then you get out of that border. And you go back into the other guy's border where you were. Now, they end up hating you after a while, but you can get from one place to another. So what we're going to do is we're going to bounce back and forth between the cold biome and the warm biome here. So there's another car it is. God, give me a battery, for Christ's sake. Hey, we dig up there before? Probably. Yeah, we've checked this car. Still got food poisoning, man. Radiator. Not going to give me that battery, huh? I was able to fix all of my, pretty much all of my tools, too. I didn't want to make repair kits for the bow and the shotgun when they're still uh, almost at full strength. Still no battery. That's what, four cars now? Five cars? Ah, shit. Alright, I'm feeling really sick now. We gotta head back. I don't think this cold is gonna help me out, is it? Uh what do I do here? Man, this is bad. This is bad. Have a beer, feel less pain. I don't know, man. Alright, we gotta make a break for the house. That's all we can do. Let's make a break for it. There it is, right there. So if we die, we don't have to... <laughs> if we die before we get there, we don't have to come that oops, that far to, cut, to get uh, our stuff. I think this is relatively the shortest route to our house, too. 
stamina drop is real here. This is crazy. Try and keep our speed up. Two pedals and a coast. Two pedals and a coast. There's the town. Come on, man. You can do it. You know you can. You're a badass. You know you're a badass. Wish we had some antacids or something. I know what it's like to have a stomach full of hurt. One of the worst things about my anxiety attacks is that stomach. You, you always feel like you're full. You can't eat anything. It's all stress, right? It just binds you up. It's crazy. For me, it was the, the worst part was it was um, having the uh, compression underneath my uh, uh, underneath my heart. I kept thinking I was going to have a heart attack, and then of course you think you're going to have a heart attack, and then it makes your anxiety even worse. And then of course your chest chest tightens up even more, and then you feel like you first the first thing you say is, "Oh, I think I'm going to have a heart attack," and you're like, "No, no, I'm not going to have a heart attack. That's just silly. I'm not going to have a heart attack." And you're like, "But what if I am?" And then you. <laughs> Then you get even more stressed, and then the then the pressure gets worse, and then you're like, "Fuck, I'm gonna have a heart attack." <laughs> it's just this wor bad cycle. For me, it was like waking up in the middle of the night with these <laughs> ridiculous panic attacks. But now that I know what they are, right? It's like I have a panic attack now. I just laugh at it. It's like, ah, it's panic attack. Isn't that funny? I go back to sleep. So used to it now. Christ, we gotta get home. We're gonna die here. We are gonna die. We are gonna die. We need antibiotics. We need a freaking fistful of Tums is what we need. There's the church. Alright. Well, we got back home. And we'll be able to do our other thing today. God, look at that flashing red. It's like, dude, you're gonna die, man. Alright. Let's do this first because this is more important, right? We can't, of course we can't carry everything. Why would we be able to carry everything into the house? Full speed run. Our health is almost at half. I used two bandages, man. We need to make more bandages. Alright, let's get up here. I know we got antibiotics in here. Uh, where are you? Do I not have antibiotics? I don't have any antibiotics. Are you kidding me? Let's vitamin it up then. Because sure, why not? That's not really going to help. Well, if we're going to die, we're going to die eating pie. Well, no, that's a lot of stamina. I don't want <laughs> to waste it on food poisoning. Why the hell would we do that? Um, maybe I should just drink a beer. Not that it's going to make a difference. Uh, I don't have anything else. At some point we'll be able to make antibiotics with all this shit that we got in here, but... Brain alcohol is not going to help. Maybe I should just eat glass. That'll probably help. We didn't even get what we needed. Look at my version. My vision's going all shitty now. Oh, it's because I'm drunk. That would make sense. Hoping to ride this out. Oh, okay. Maybe it was the alcohol. I have no idea, but... Something did it. My god, that was close. Uh, these guys go in here. I'm thirsty, am I? I don't really care. At least I'm still alive. That's all that matters. That needs to get cooked. This can go up here. And this guys can go down here. With these guys. Kind of glad I bought those now. Put that there. Coins can go in here. All right, let's go get the bike. Well, that was close. All right, so I'm going to use up the battery that I didn't want to use because it's an awesome battery. Actually, you know what? We got a bit of time. And we're not dead, which is always a bonus when you need to do stuff. So let's go over here. Because there's some cars back here. There's one. 
There's a few over here. Let's go over here. There's like three right here. Okay, let's eat something first, though. And we're definitely going to have to drink something. Getting close to the end of the day here. Let's take the far one first. This might give us... I don't know. Just give us a battery. Just want one battery. One battery, please. Nope. I don't know if we're going to get it off the uh, for, off this uh, stripped-down car, though. I think we have to get it off a uh, more intact vehicle. Because it doesn't look like we're getting... Yeah, we're just getting junk off these guys. Let's try one more. Uh, I don't want to try one more. I don't want to waste my time here. God, my health is so... My max health is so low. What the hell are they running to? Oh, goddamn fence. Well, at least it didn't damage my bike any further than it already was. Oh, there's people in here. Any respawns? Doesn't look like it. Come on, I just want a battery. I just want a battery. There's a Zamboni over there, though. I hear ya. I should just kill you with the wrench. Just to get my frustrations out on you, but I'm not going to. Why can't we find a battery? Should ask Metallica. Battery! And yes, I was a Metallica fan for quite a long time. I still don't mind them. That was back in the 80s, though. Oh, for shit's sake. I mean, I've heard of, like... Whatever, I'm not even gonna... Let's see if Mo hears us. We're at 100% noise. He's wandering over there. Is he making the turn? I should be looking to see if we're getting a battery, though. He's not making the turn. Nope. We're gonna have to use up our best battery. We got a level 6 battery. I didn't want to use it because I want to put it in a battery bank. But we're not going to have a battery bank if we don't have any bloody batteries to friggin' put in it. How many cars are we got to take apart? Just one. Oh, for Christ's sake. There was cars in the car park. We might as well... Oh, there was some over here too, wasn't there? Pretty sure. Who planted those trees? They look really nice. Yeah, we got a full car over here. Looks like it's a full car. Let's strip this sucker. We got two here. Might just have enough time to get both of these guys. Yeah, so this is kind of one of the places I came to, to uh, strip uh, stone and stuff when when I was those couple of uh, episodes between episodes. Wasn't really, uh, sorry, not episode between episode, but you know what I mean. No batteries. Big batteries, no whammies. <sighs> okay, this is our last chance. Last chance for the battery we need so badly. We got one. See, that, you know, that's like the story of my life, right? And you could say, oh, you know what? It's not the last one. The last one's always the last one. You always find out on the last one. But no, I decided this was going to be the last one I looked in. You heard me. All right, this is the last one I'm going to look in for today. You heard me say that. And it's like, there it is. It's, like, honestly. It just wants to maximize my time wasting. See, I can push that thing back a bit more. The, the land claim block. I think I should redo it and move it back. Alright, we got to not take damage, hopefully. Alright, we need the fat. Yeah, let's pick this guy up. And get back inside. 
Thank God I can repair my tools now. Okay, there we go. That land claim block I'll worry about moving later. We gotta move it four blocks back, I think. Just so that we don't get spawners in the backyard. Well, I mean, we can still get them on the side yard there, but... Okay, so, uh, let's drop this stuff off here. Uh, what goes where? The iron can go in here. The wood can go in here for now. We're not going to need any of that. We've got a level 4 battery. That's not bad. Uh, we got any foodstuffs? I don't think we did. Shrooms. Glass jar. Oh. Whole reason why we couldn't take stuff out of the bike. Put all this stuff in here. There's the knight. I am not worried about that. Drop all this stuff in here. Yep, yep. And let's put... Uh, what do we got? Clay in here? Let's get that going, and let's just drop the lead. We don't need to cook the lead up. We're just going to leave it in here for now. Okay, so in here, I have all of this stuff, and this stuff is going to be used to make a motorcycle. We need a workbench for it, but we have all the gear. We're going to have to make these two, which we can have no problem making, but first thing we need to do is spend our skill points, which we now have 10, 10, Count on 10 skill points. All right, so in Grease Monkey, we got to buy mini bikes. Then we can buy motorcycles. So now we can make a motorbike. Awesome! Uh, hammer and Forge, nothing can do there. Can't do can't do no din there. We want to be able to make an AK-47. This is level 60 though, right? Yeah. What level are we now? We're pretty close. 56. So we should be able to get that before Horde Knight. Definitely want to. We do, well, we want to make the AK-47 uh, marksman rifle and everything. Maybe a Magnum. So we'll have really uh, high level weapons. Now physician, I want to go and make this. Uh, recog, medical healing, perform 25 um, I think that's fine, I think that's fine for now. So we're going to start to start getting up our fortitude. That's 120. Agility definitely needs to go up. Um, now, we want to go with more perception, too, because we're going to be using automatic weapons a lot at night. So, fire rate is faster, reload is faster. Let's get a general perception up one. We could take Lucky Looter. Boom headshot, I think, is important. Increasing the range headshot damage is important, I think. Archery, um, faster aiming. Let's take two levels. Let's take one level in automatic weapons. We've got two points left, eh? Fortitude. Uh, we got four. Do I want to go more pack mule? Or do we go skull? Well, I can't go skull crusher yet. Heavy metal. Stay down is. Yeah, no, I don't know. We have to be what level here? Strength level 5. Yeah, I don't think we need that just yet. Intellect costs 4 points to raise up, so I'm not really going to go that route. Engineering we can't do yet. Um, maybe we just put... Let's put another strength into fortitude. Put another point into fortitude. And then... So we have everything at least at 4 here across the board. Um, and let's save that last point just in case we need it for something. Yeah, let's save the last point. Okay, I think that's what we're going to do. Alright, so now we can make motor motorcycles here. So let's have a look here. Let's get this, well, moror. We need to make a moror, guys. So let's get... I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I got everything out here. Handlebars. What am I missing for handlebars? Three electrical parts. Really? I got, I got three electrical parts in there. Oh no, I need six. Ah. Thought I had everything. Okay, I should have enough now for that. There we go. And then I think once those two are done, we've got a battery, we've got an engine, right? Battery and engine, we're making these two parts now. I made the two wheels earlier because we already knew how to make the wheels, so I just made those. Let's pull the spike traps out while we wait for those to uh, build. Put them in here. 
So we're getting closer for our defense here. Um, yeah, I'm not worried about that right now. Um, like I said, just trying to keep this heat map down a little bit if I can. That clay is going to finish up. We're going to switch these over and then we're going to make some more forged iron. Can we make another hundred? Yeah, how close are we? Oh, that's, we still got lots in there. We're definitely going to have to go hit boulders. So I figured out how to find them, find iron underground now. So uh, maybe next episode we do that. <clears throat> We're going to have to go, still haven't found those damn beakers, man. Let's use this. And let's get the blueberry pie. Because you know what? We deserve a blueberry pie every once in a while. Uh, we need to get our maximum health up first, though. Where is the... Uh, there we go. Let's get these out for now. And let's make some regular bandages. I don't want to waste them. What am I doing here? Gonna need at least three, six, seven. Yep. It's cheap enough to do it this way. So that just gets your maximum health up. It doesn't actually bring your bring your health up, it just gets the maximum to a higher level. So each one of these will raise it by 10. Oh, 15. So that's 45. That's 60. So that's, yeah, we still need to go one more. All right, so that should get our max back up to the top. So let's put these in here. I like to keep them around. Uh, and then let's have some blueberry pie, because, you know, pie. Nice. We need to make antibiotics. I don't know when I, I, I think I need a, uh, I think I need an alchemy still for that, though. All right, how are we doing here? Still not even done. My God, it's still a minute left to go. Uh, okay, so do we have aloe? We do. Um, that'll give us five bandages. This will give us ten. So, let's do that in our inventory. And we do this, and this, and craft. Now, I think we need... It's Is it one and one, or is it two and one? I think it's two and one. I can't remember. Either way, we got enough. Alright, let that go. <clears throat> Alright, there's the chassis. Almost done! Uh, so let's see here. Recipes. I keep wanting to click use. Yeah, it is two. Two for one. Let's craft those up. Get those going as well. How are we doing? Forged iron is rapidly coming out of there. We got so much of this stuff now. Okay, we're gonna definitely have to gonna go find iron though. I should have went and sold that tool and die set. I, I, you know what? I never thought we should have done that. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we gotta do it in here, though. Motorcycle. There it is, folks. Let's craft this sucker. 52 seconds. Let's go put our bicycle away, because we ain't gonna need this for a long time. I wonder if we can sell it. Let's put it in here. Might be able to sell that. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, put the wrench down there, because we have to put the motorbike in our hands. We gotta see this before the episode's over. Pretty darn cool looking, I gotta say. Another 80. And let's see, iron spikes trapped. It's only four per. So we can make another 20. We're gonna need lots of these, but. Getting close to the horde night. 15 seconds. Uh, let's get some wood for you. Although, I don't know. We got lots of concrete already, but I know. It's always nice to have more. Uh, don't have any stone. Let's just grab some of this here. Just grab 20. Get this going for a bit longer. Um, yeah, just melt up that stone, baby. Alright, there it is. Level 6 motorcycle. Let's have a look. There's the hog, guys. So we got tons of storage in this thing now that's awesome <clears throat> I'm losing my voice here it's so exciting that's not really why I'm losing my voice but 
All right, guys, so we're going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. Tomorrow we'll take this bag, but bad boy. I think we go... Look at the spikes on the front of this thing. So awesome. I think maybe we do go out for a ride in the motorcycle. Um, I was thinking about do, doing some stuff around the base, but I think we go take the motorbike out. Maybe we hit up that town. Um, and with the speed of this thing... Oh, we're going to need gas. We need gas. So let's go... No, it's in here. Let's grab this. We gotta refuel this guy. Uh, open gas. Here we go. Oops. Don't punch the damn thing. Just put. Okay, it's full. I don't have to worry about anybody stealing it. Open does what? Oh, we can put modifiers in this thing? Are you kidding me? We can put modifiers in this thing, man. Defense, 90. One seat, 100% gas. Okay, we're going to put... Oh, we can't. We'll put it in the storage when we take it outside. Take some gas with us, just in case. All right, guys, so I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe, and you can drop any comments or questions in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.